Team team, good to see you all. I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, right, so this is something new I'm trying out. I'm gonna call this Friday Fillers because my aim is to post one of these videos every Friday. Now, I can't promise that it's gonna be every Friday, but I'm gonna try my damnedest to make sure I do. Um, these are going to be shorter videos and more informative, so rather than just watching me go fishing, maybe you're going to learn something from this. So this week I'm going to show you guys how to tie a blood knot. Alright, so I use these all the time to attach tippet material to my leader or two different uh, pieces of leader together um, for whatever reason. It's a really cool knot. It's slim, it's strong, it's super reliable and it's actually good fun to tie once you've got it sorted. So I use it all the time. I use it for saltwater stuff, I use it for freshwater stuff. I just pretty much use it for everything. Uh, Alright, show you how to do it. Alright, so I've got my tippet tag end here and my leader tag end here. So I'm going to lay my tippet tag end over the top of my leader, like so, and then I'm going to pinch it real hard between my thumb and my forefinger here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up around the back of the leader and I'm going to come around and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to come around six times for this, like that. Now I'm going to take that end of the um, tippet and I'm going to come up through that hole that I've been holding open by pinching my thumb and my forefinger down. So if I can show you that, that's what that looks like. Okay. Now I'm going to swap over. So I'm now going to pinch that hole and keep that hole open by pinching between this thumb and this forefinger. Now I'm going to come around the opposite way now with my leader tag end. And I'm gonna come around once, twice, and I'm only gonna come around three times this one because this is so much thicker than the tippet material here. If I come around six times, it's gonna make this knot huge and this one not huge. So I wanna try and keep each side of the knot nice and even. Now I'm gonna come down through that same hole, but I'm gonna come down through the top and down the opposite way. So if I just get that to bite a little bit, that's basically what I'm looking at, okay? So I've come around one way and up through with the uh, tippet and I've come around the opposite way with the leader and then down through the top of the same hole. And that's really important, you've got to have those things going opposite, otherwise it will kind of slip and it will be a little bit weaker than it should be. So that's basically what the knot looks like without it being pulled super tight. Now when you go to... Um, to kind of bed it all down, make sure you use plenty of spit, and then that way it'll just it'll all kind of cinch down nice and smooth when you pull on either end, and it will um, it'll bend it bed in really neat and strong, which I can't do with this because it's fabric. Anyway, then from there you'll just trim the tag ends here and here, and then give it a good test, and it'll uh, it'll bed down. But that's basically a blood knot. Really cool, really cool knot. Um, it's neat, it's slim, it's really strong, it's reliable, and once you've kind of got, got it down, it's actually pretty easy to tie. Alright, so there you go. Whenever I'm learning to tie a new knot, I basically just get an old spool of line, and I'll just sit on the floor in front of the telly, and I'll just tie it again and again and again and again, till I'm at the point that I can tie it in the dark, with cold hands without even thinking about it. And then that way when you're on the river, you're not trying to remember how to do it, and you've got good solid knots you can rely on. Uh, all right, so if you like this video, if you found it useful, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the section below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Tick that little bell thing so you get a notification every time I drop another video, which will be next Tuesday. And if there's anything in particular you wanna see, say so in the comment section below and I'll do my damn just to make a video on it for you. Got some ideas, we're gonna tie some flies, we're gonna show you some stuff, we're gonna do some stuff on some gear, but if there's anything you've been wondering and wanting to ask, now's the time to do it and I'll make a video on it. Till then, have a great weekend. See you on the next one.